and our CASA has improved from 41.77 to close to 42 percent. The advances of the pandemic has grown by 12 percent and reached to 2.73 lakh crore. Under REM, the retail has grown by 13 percent and reached to 91,000 crores. Under retail, housing loan has grown by 11 percent, auto loan has grown by 28 percent and personal loan has grown by 46 percent. Now agriculture, agriculture has grown by, please go back to earlier, agriculture has grown by 16 percent. In agriculture, the crop loan has grown by 13 percent. Investment credit has grown by 30 percent. Agri allied has grown by 13 percent and SHG has grown by 44 percent. In MSME, the growth was 7 percent. In a corporate, we have grown by 12 percent and reached to 1.71 lakh crore. The standard corporate has grown by 17 percent and again the mid corporate has grown by 19 percent. Coming to the asset quality, so our gross NPA has come down from 6.53 percent of last quarter to 5.95 percent and from the 8.47 of the last year to 5.95 percent which is the reduction by 252 bits. The net NPA has grown, has reduced from 227.2 to 90 bits, that is reduction of 137 bits. Last quarter the net NPA was 1%. The PCA is improved from 87.38% of the last year and 93.59 of the last quarter to 93.82%. So point is the business is grown by 8%, the credit has grown by 14% and all the segments of the credit whether retail, agree, MSME, corporate or mid corporates all are growing healthy in a double digit. And the NPAs are continuously coming down and reached to 5.95 and the net NPA is 0 0.90. You must be watching our performance on a quarter on quarter basis. This is every quarter we are reducing gross and net NPA and improving our provision coverages. So as far as the margins are concerned, the margin of the bank is 3.41 percent case against the 2.91 percent for the whole year. And the in a quarter on a uh, YOY basis of course is a 72 gifts. The net interest income of the bank for the quarter has grown by 29 percent. Quarter means this of March 23 vis a vis March 22, whereas the on a yearly basis our net interest income has grown by 21 percent, which is the main, main source of our excellent performance here as a whole. And which is reflecting in an improvement in the NIM. The capital adequacy ratio of the bank is 16.49 percent, is against 15.73 of the last quarter and 16.53 of the previous year. The slightly capital has come down from 16.53 to 16.49 but our CET capital has increased by around 36 BEPs. The reduction is mainly because of tier 2 capital pay because of rediscounting of tier 2 bonds. Otherwise, in spite of the growth in credit by 14 percent <coughs> by maintaining the capital adequacy of the same level as against 11 and half of 16.49. So, bank is well capitalized and the profits are adequate to take care of our capital needs. So, so generations are adequate to support our credit growth that is the crux of the year. So operating profit on a quarter on quarter has grown by 47 percent and likewise the net profit too has grown by 47 percent. 
the return on equity is 15.48% and ROA has improved to 0.82 and cost income ratio has 46.47%. Next please. Likewise, deposit uh, and deposit we have grown by 5% but quarter on quarter is 4%. So, and advances we have grown by 14% and quarter on quarter is a 5%. Next. So we are talking about the components of the credit retail 13% and here it is mentioned that home loan 11, auto loan 28, personal loan 46, well loan 9, other retail 5. You see all components of the retail loans are growing. Likewise in the agri side also you see the crop loan, the investment credit, the agri allied and infrastructure, every component is growing in we are in all we are growing 16 percent likewise in msme also micro is grown 11 percent small 5 and the medium these are on average 7 percent and the corporate side is growing by 12 percent but this is a number because we talk to the standard corporate is grown by 17 percent next which one sir so deposit is basically as you know, saving deposit has been grown by 7%, 7% and we are taking deposit based on the our needs. So, bank is adequately liquid. We are having 158% of our LCR. Bank is having excess SLR of around 36,000 crores. So, we are taking deposit based on the needs and therefore the growth is 5%. The performance in the priority sector is against the 18 percent, we are at 19.27 percent, small and marginal performance is against 9 and half, we are in 10 and half, weaker section 11 and half is against we are 15.91, so micro 9.87 against 7 and half, non-corporate again 15.9 against 13.78. So you see we are meeting all, not only meeting all the RBI benchmark, we are crossing the RBI benchmark for priority sector lending. Next. So this is the, this slide talks about the profitability of the bank. So first I will talk about the year on year basis. So net interest income, is the interest received minus interest paid has grown by 21%. So credit growth was 14% and the interest income has grown by 21%. Non interest income has grown by 3% because of the treasury, because of the we were moving to a high interest rates. But bank has covered that treasury, short for in treasury profit by other incomes. Now operating expenses has grown by 11 percent, but operating profit on a year on year basis has grown by 20 percent and the net profit at 34 percent. So you see after amalgamation, the bank first year was having a profit of 3000 crore, second year 3945 and the third year we are at 5282. So bank is continuously getting the benefits, synergy benefits out of amalgamation and posting good results. On a, on a quarter on quarter basis you see March 23 vis a vis March 22 quarter our net interest income has grown by 29 percent, our non interest income has grown by 27 percent and operating profit has grown by 47 and likewise the net profit has grown by 47 percent. Next please. Just go back to previous. <coughs> the provision is 34. Net profit is at 47. No, that is year or not year. That uh, that you are talking about column no, row number eight. I am talking about row number eleven. Next please. You see that the, the component of our non-interest income. So you see, our there was a treasury earlier last year. The profit was six one thousand six hundred twenty-six because we were in a low interest rate. And you know from May twenty two onwards, RBI has increased the interest rates, and therefore the treasury profit was less in the financial year twenty two twenty three. And which we have covered, not only covered, we have surpassed. <coughs> the recovery return of account has increased from. 
1612 crore to 2177 crore the growth of 35 percent the fee income the fee income has grown by again 16 percent from 2555 to 2969 the forex income has grown by 46 percent the PSLC income is depends on your market rate of the PSLC and miscellaneous income is 4 by 5 percent so you see <coughs> barring the trading profit or a profit on sale of investment all other components are growing likewise the interest income too has grown by 19 percent interest on advances in the, if I talk quarter on quarter recovery in bad debts has grown by 337 percent 860 crore is a recovery of a bad debt and the fee income is grown by 12 percent forex income is based on the availability of the prop, uh, uh, fund deployment in the forex market so that is why it has come down next please so that is basically a expenditure part of that so I'll, net interest income i already covered so as a salary expenditure has increased by 12 percent which is mainly due to the reason that we have made a provision of 250 crore for base revision which is due from 1st November 22. Now it has increased by 8% with the increase in income naturally or will also increase and the expenditure has increased by 11%. Next please. So this is our ratios basically. So you see in a YOY basis the margins the the row number 7 that has increased from 2.91 to 3.41. The row number 9 return on average net worth improved from 12% to 14.73%. Likewise, row number 6 return on asset has improved from 0.63 to 0.77 and if you see the last quarter 0.82. So, it means bank is in a growth path. If your quarterly numbers are better than your average number, it means bank is on the growth path. And the cost of deposit of course has grown by 12 percent, whereas the advances have grown by 50 pips. So, as this, this has resulted into an increase in our net interest income. Next please. This is capital adequacy numbers basically. So, here the point is that the CET capital which is the core equity, core equity has improved from 12.53 to 12.89. So, 36 bits core equity has increased in spite of increase in business. So, increase in the credit by around 56, 57 thousand crores. So, bank has provided capital for increased basis and still any higher capital than the original the capital is on 1st of May 22. And that tier 2 has come down 3.36 to 3.01. I already told you about this rediscounting of our bonds. But that here the point is credit RWA to the credit has come down 62 percent, 59 and 59 percent. Serial number 1, which shows that bank is taking the quality side of the quality advances, which has lower risk weights. Next. These are the LPEA numbers. So, you first see year in year, the fresh slippage was 9,800 crore in the last year, which is now 6,642. So, around 67 percent, 65 percent of the last year. And the recovery, you see the recovery, total recovery was 7,115 in the last year, which is 8,504. So, the, the slippage is 7,000 and the recovery is 8500. So, our recovery is more than our sleep is. And this has happened in March quarter as well, this happened in December quarter, this happened in September quarter. So, quarter on quarter basis bank is recovering more than the sleep is. And sleep is do happens in the, in the lending business. And as a result, as a result our gross and net NPA has come down. You see the year on year 8.47 has become 5.95 and the 2.27 has become 0 0.90 and the slip is 256 is half of the slip is, is coming from the MSME book. You know that MSMEs are having stresses. 
whereas the branch banking transactions has come down from 20 30 23% to 15% and quarter on quarter also it has gone up by 2% if i go to the, uh, the mobile banking next next yeah mobile banking users last year we have almost taken from 68 to 1 crore 15 lakhs this year our target is to make it double so with that we will be covering most of our active customers on internet banking user if i give you the figures it has numbers have gone by from 65 to 68 lakhs and whereas the transaction concerned the yoy transaction for mobile banking have gone from 307 to 530 lakhs 3 crore 7 to 530 5 crore 30 lakhs on the uh, other transactions it has gone from 359 to 374 the upi side the transactions have gone up from 101 to 128 lakh and on the debit cards from 270 to 314 17% yoy growth is there as well as the upi transactions are concerned it has gone by 100% from 9778 to 20450 as far as the credit card number it has gone from 1.5 to 1.70 this year we are working on the various tie-ups and the, the digitization of our credit card operations and we are hopeful it will it will go, it will go up many folds next year on, on the digital side we have taken various new initiatives uh, we have done namely with with Tamil Nadu government where the, we will be providing the digital platform on the collection side. We have taken UPI Lite and the Payno Singapore leakage we have done through UPI which is so only a few banks are having this kind of facility where the funds can be transferred from India to Singapore and Singapore to India. On the WhatsApp banking for the non-financial transaction we have taken initiatives. Uh, the repayment of term loans through cash deposits. Then cardless cash withdrawal, even you don't have a debit card, you can go to the ATM, you can withdraw cash. And we have started this, the co-branded debit card for the Tamil Nadu government. We have linkage of rupee card with the UPI. Digital insurance, non-life and life started on our invoices. <coughs> E-Rupee voucher we have, we are one of the first bank to start E-Rupee in Haryana, Rajasthan and Karnataka. And shortly we are doing, we are planning to do it for Tamil Nadu also. Next. Uh, some of the, the new initiative we are planning in the next two quarters uh, digital life insurance all the channels which we are partnering will be on the our invoices international qr code also we are going to do where the, the it is mainly for singapore if the customer of india goes to if india is customer goes to the singapore and through qr code he will be able to make payment on the dbt for the tamil nadu government all digital banking transactions through that platform we are going to have a tie up then virtual ATM also we are going to start very shortly and transition banking through WhatsApp, buy no pay later on our debit card and bank's own payment gateway is going to start very shortly uh, and the nomination facility once you do you will be able to view on your locker facility also and I was telling you that bank has taken various new initiatives on the various new platforms uh, I was telling about the various journeys bank has started that is first thing we started on digital lending platform on that most of the journeys which are the lending journeys we will be doing through this channel where a customer sitting at home at the comfort of his office or home will be able to do journeys can avail loan from the bank so already this year we have already completed 23 journeys and shortly in the, by the September we will be again launching 70 new journeys we will put together there will be 40 journeys Apart from that, we have onboarded only channel vendor, where the this platform is kind of a the device agnostic channel, where the customer will experience almost same thing on all channels of access. For example, if he is starting his transaction from mobile banking, if he is not able to complete on mobile, he can even go to the branch, he can go to the internet banking, he can go to the kiosk, and all other channels, even on the wearable and other things, the experience will be same. And it will be best in class user interface and user experience we are planning to launch in the Q2. Already uh, the, the UAT and all other things has started. Apart from that, the bank is because uh, uh, we were having the CVS very old CVS where a lot of customization has happened. So to take care of the new requirements, new APIs, we have come up with us API of the middleware. The middleware is already started, so we have started doing the business partnership, business enables fintechs, and within the bank also we have created a separate vertical 
for this partnership, fintech partnership as well as the government business. So we'll be using these APIs, open APIs for our customers also and for our bank business also. On the cloud technology also, bank has taken steps. We are coming up with the already uh, the public cloud, we are having a smart office and private cloud on the 86 platform. Plus, we are coming up with a, for our core banking solution, a private cloud. And because bank is doing a lot of new initiatives, then the major concern was the information and cyber security. So we have started working on the same thing, this part of the security also. And on that, various new steps and the new initiatives have been taken. And we are furthering, further enhancing this facility also. On the digital, digital and analytic engine, bank has started the analytic center of excellence. For data warehouse and data governance, we are going to take further steps, data cleaning and analytic engine is taking care of all these our journeys which are coming from this DLP model. We have gone for the CRM where the customer 360 sales and marketing operation will be personalized and the for this already RFP is closed and the vendor onboarding process has started. Further we have created a cash management service a separate vertical which for which also we are taking the we are taking the new platform which will be helpful to our corporate customers for their liquidity and for the liberty management etc. Uh, we have created a 100 members team at digital box section and the, to improve the adoption in the, our PLS also these KRS have been put in. We have a strong team of 900 dedicated digital banking champions who will be driving these agendas to the branches and we have taken the letter engagement of talent to support us wherever there is a knowledge gap. And we have created a separate vertical for change management for the outreach programs. For streamlined operations, uh, we have started, as I told you, the digital journeys, strengthening of contact center, partnership with FinTechs, enterprise document management platform, account aggregator, which is a very, very uh, a good initiative by the government. So we have become, uh, we have become partner on various platforms. This will help us in various journeys and various other use cases are there. We can get the statement of account digitally with the consent of the customer. Then testing center of excellence also we, are, we have taken up this initiative because whenever we are starting the journey, sometimes we are getting teething issues in the beginning. But once the test is center of excellence, all this testing is done on the center, the load testing, etc. will be taken care and the journeys will be smooth and seamless in the future. Uh, already have uh, informed that we have already done uh, 23 or uh, 25 journeys, already completed another 15, more than 15 journeys we are going to complete in the near future. By, by rather July 23rd, we will be able to complete more than 40 journeys. Uh, on the partnership side, already bank has done a uh, partnership with Rupee and garnered business of more than 38 crore during the last financial year. It was a test case for us. Then Maruti Sadhuike also one tie up we have done where there also we have done business of 22 crore. And one card very recently we have the, done the tie up and we are going to take it forward. Other I was telling you the MOU with the government of Tamil Nadu for taking the, the digital payments for the entire services which the state government is providing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for also to operate, they should not have any kind of issues. So we have passed through that stage. What is the business target for a total business? We are giving around a 10.95 million crore of a business, right? Our generation will take care of our <coughs> growth need. Even then, we have taken a board approval today to raise 4,000 crore by equity <coughs> capital or to QIP or any other mod. As and when the situation so arises during the whole year. And as a, at the same time, we have also taken board approval for taking 3,000 crore of tier 1 and a tier 2. Or so you see our Tier 2 has come down slightly. At the same time, we are against 1.5% of the ETC call based on our need. Presently, we are this year also we are planning to raise to recruit around 1,000 people. We keep on raising, but Bajasa has told that we are planning to come out with the 17 more, more journeys for digital products. Already, already 20 done, another 20 we are talking right next. How many years have you been uh, selling your uh, NPS to uh, asset based construction companies? So, what is the volume of uh, uh, you know, the uh, loans that have been sold to them? Yes. Data cost? No, actually, it's a part of every, every 
years or a quarter exercise for us to change to ARC is whenever we are unable to recover the loan or there are some legal disputes or something, and then we what we do we go for ARCCL. And now the NARCL we are planning to sell some of the assets to the NARCL as well. So last year also around 455 crore of recovery we had but from the ARCCL. So going forward also we can recovery from the ARCCL. How many new branches opened this financial year sir? We have opened around 87 branches in this financial year and 32 we have rationalized. So out of 87, around 50% is in South India. Do you have any exclusive MSME branches in Tamil Nadu? Presently we are not having exclusive MSME branches, but we are having the mid-corporate branches. And mid-corporate branches, we are around 25 mid-corporate branches, which take care of the MSME as well, and we are, we are increasing the mid-corporates. So our credit side, basically, we are taking care by the large corporate branches and the mid-corporate branches. We are the efficient, but we are the persons who knows the credit are being deployed. And in addition to that, for sanction of the SME advisor, we are having around the MAPC, which we call for the credit processing center for MSME. Is there any plan to open a branch in Gibbs City in Gujarat? We are having the branch in the Gibbs City from last three years. How is the business? The business is growing there. So exact number I'll tell you, but the business is growing more than double every year. It is good place for us to do for ex so how do you see the trend on the home loan friends after the recent hikes do you see any kind of a slowdown in uh, home loan front or what is the general sentiment after the rate matter? you see that generally what happens with the increase in interest rate you go to the markets even the plates are not